Welcome back. I'm quite overtired and I'm a little bit sick, but I told myself I'd do a review every week at the start of this year, so I'm still on the grind. If you hear some weird noises, there's a small cat in this room somewhere. I'm a cat dad now. If he appears, I'll scoop him and show you. Anyway, this is the RG421 HPAM. It's maybe one of the best value guitars I've ever played. I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna talk about it. You know the drill. Let's get this over with. take was going good I think but here's the cat this is gravy say hello to the internet little man there they are all right let's see if we can actually get a good solo in eh Looks like little cats got bored, so we should be uninterrupted for the rest of this thing. This guitar is sick. We got a Nyoto body. It's kind of got this red thing going on. I'm not sure if Nyoto is usually red. Looks nice. We got an ash top with cream binding. So we've got a wizard three neck. It's one piece roasted maple with a roasted maple fingerboard. Bit confusing when they say one piece, but, but the fretboard's actually not from the same piece of wood. You know what they mean. 25 and a half inch scale, 400 millimeter radius, and we got 24 jumbo frets. Pretty standard Ibanez business. The neck feels really good. The roasted maple has a really nice sort of soft soft satiny feel to it. Yeah, it looks nice. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I'm a big fan. What's this cat doing? Hey, leave that alone. Gravy a little menace. Jesus Christ. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that uh, I'm a pretty big fan of guitars that fit into different scenes in terms of looks. And for me, this is one of those. You can turn up to a metal gig, you can turn up to a jazz gig. No one's gonna look at you too weird at either. So I like that. Let's play some more. I just tried to solo on the neck pickup and then ended up getting interrupted and decided I felt like the bridge was a bit better. So let's do some clean stuff and let's do it on the middle position. Just keep getting interrupted today. And we'll do it on the middle position so you can hear a bit of both and then we'll talk about some pickups. There's a cat attacking my foot. Please, I'm trying to record a review right here. I need to step on this. This might have been a mistake to record this with the cat in here. God, this animal will not leave me alone. Sir, cease and desist, please. Look, I'll put you on the axe fix. So also, you probably know if you've seen a few of my videos, I love guitars that come, I love guitars that come with good pickups right out of the box. This thing has a Damasio Tone Zone in the bridge and an Air Norton in the neck. Those are upgrade worthy pickups. And they're right there. We've got a volume and a tone knob and we've got a five way switch. So we get bridge pickup, inside coils of both pickups for your classic Ibanez kind of thing. Um, middle position is just both humbuckers. Fourth position is the neck pickup in parallel, which I love. Fifth position is your neck pickup in full humbucker mode. It's got a lot of options right off the bat and um, Having Damasio pickups in this thing is really good. Honestly, when it comes to hardware, there's not much else to really talk about. The tuners and bridge and knobs all seem pretty normal, but that's fine because this guitar is very affordable. I'll tell you how much it costs after I play some Nick Parallel goodness. The cat's giving me anxiety. Please don't knock the picture frame off the wall. So thanks to Music Works Albany for lending me this guitar. Currently, you can head over there and pick it up for 15, 25 New Zealand dollars. Considering you basically don't have to upgrade it, the pickups on this guitar, that's a fantastic deal to me. This guitar looks great. It feels great. The neck is really, really nice. The fret works pretty damn good as well. The only possible downside is it's a bit light. I know some people like a bit more weight in their guitars, but this is quite a lightweight little guy. Not a big, heavy, weighty beast, but that's probably all right. Anyway, I'm gonna do one more little jam. We'll play some riffs and then I'll go back to not sleeping because I have a small cat. See you next time.